Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I show you how to display and interact with message boxes in Macro Recorder and how to perform actions depending on the user's choice. Here I have created a simple script. The script will open a file in Notepad and add the current date and time. Then it will paste some text and finally save the file and close the application. Let's quickly run it to see it in action. The script works as expected. Now, I want to display a message box after successful completion of the task. The command to display a message box has been added along with other improvements in version 3. Version 3 is still in beta stage and therefore should not be used in production environments yet. I will show you how to use the message boxes in Macro Recorder version 3 and how you can later perform an action depending on the selection in the dialog. But first, I will show you how to display a message box in the current version. So let's get started. There are many ways to create and display a message box, but I will focus on two. You can find this freeware on GitHub. The program is very intuitive and its use is self-explanatory. Don't worry, I will show you exactly what to do in a second. First download the application and unpack it. The archive contains two executables. While message box, the exe is intended for use with console apps. Message box win, the exe is intended for detached console and GUI applications, according to the website. The source code is also included. To display a message box in Macro Recorder, select Execute command in the MISC tab. Now at the path to message box application. The next parameter will define the type of message box, the title and the message itself. In this case, I will display an information message box. To see what it looks like, run the action. So this is a method to display a message box in the macro recorder. Another method is by using a PowerShell command. PowerShell is a scripting language which comes pre-installed with Windows. Before I will show you how to display a message box in Macro Recorder with PowerShell, make sure you press the like button. Let me quickly get rid of this. PowerShell scripts are executed by the command interpreter, better known as DOSBox. Type CMD in the upper text box. The parameter part is a bit more complicated than the previous method, and you will see a black box when you run it. There are ways around this, but I won't go into that in this tutorial. The important part is again the type, tile and the message. This is the message. And this is the title. Now let's give it a try. Okay Adoki, there comes the message box. As I said this method has some limitations, but the good thing is you don't need an external third party tool. The new version of Macro Recorder has introduced many new useful features. For example, you can now finally group actions together. If then statements were then also introduced, Macro Recorder seems to have finally come of age. And last but not least, message boxes and notifications have been added, which is what this video is about. To add a message box in Macro Recorder version 3, select message box from the Mist tab. Now type in the message and select which buttons should be shown. Note that this command is limited and does not support all features yet. For example, you cannot display icons such as exclamation, warning or information that normal message boxes are known for.
Now I will show you how to evaluate user input with message boxes. Here I have created a simple script. The first action will display a message box with two buttons, OK and Cancel. When the user confirms with OK, the next action is executed. If pressing Cancel, the script will jump to the end. Let's run the script and see what happens. The message box pop up if I press Cancel. The play hit jumps to the end. While OK executes the next action. Well yeah, that's it for today I guess. This is how to show a message box in Macro Recorder and how to interact with user input. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.